Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces round 937 D4 and we're gonna solve the fifth problem that is nearly shortest repeated substring. So the question is like we will be given a string S of length n which is containing all the English alphabets and we have to find the length of the shortest string k such that several possibly one copies of k can be concatenated together to form a string of same length. Notice this word same length as S and at most one different character. What does it mean by is like, let's understand this with the help of an example. So if the question is like A, B, A, A, I can take any substring. Suppose I am taking this substring A and keep repeating it until the length of the string A, 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 A. Then compare each characters. This is same, this is same, this is same, but this is different. Even though if it's different, one different character is there, it is allowed. So how many A's did I take? I take only one, a substring of length one, right? So the answer is one. We got one. Now let's try for A, B, B, A. In uh, A, B, B, A, we understand that there is no substring such that if we concatenate together, we cannot uh, form a string of same length and with at most only one different character. That is not possible. If I do A, 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 there are two different characters that's coming, right? If I do B also, there are two different characters that's coming. So what do I do? Instead of this, I write the same characters. I take the substring of length four so that the different characters are zero here. So uh, the minimum substring is length four. Similarly for 13, let's try for HS, HA, HA, HA. So if it is for HS, HA, 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 I can uh, try to take something like HA here. So if I take HA, 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 HA. Let us try to take for HS or something, whatever, HS, HA we can take, HS, HA, HS, HA. So for HS, HA, uh, the number of characters that are different are how much, like uh, only one is different here, but the length of the substring is four. For uh, the length as HA, for if we take only HA and concatenate it, only one different character, here also only one different character, here also only one different character, but the length of the substring is two. We have to give, the minimum substring that is possible so that the condition is satisfied. That is the entire question. Now, uh, what is the brute force way that uh, we can think of for such solution is, uh, you generate all the substrings that are possible. A, B, A, A means you generate for A, you generate for A, A, B, A, B, A, A, everything and you just uh, find all the substrings and keep comparing. Wherever you are finding the minimum uh, difference that is one different character that is coming and uh, the substring length is minimum you just output that number but uh, as they told the time limit will get exceeded because uh, the end length is going till 10 power 5 in order to overcome this how can we optimize it we have to find a substring such that the substring concatenation should be of equal length for example what do i mean by that is a b c d e uh, f I can never take a substring of length 4 because if I take substring of length 4, it will be ABCD, ABCD. There is some extra space, right? It should be of equal length. So this substring is not valid. I can never take a substring of length 5. A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. Length is different. I have to take a substring such that it should perfectly fit the length S. What do I mean by that is, if the length is 6, I can take a substring of one that is a, 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 a single character or two characters a, b, a, b, a, b then also it fits three characters also I can take a, b, c, uh, a, b, c then also it fits what is the specialty of these numbers when can I say that uh, the concatenation of these strings will exactly match n the length n this these are the devices of that number so now we optimize the solution that Okay, I don't need to generate all the substrings. I just need to generate the substrings that are having the length as the devices of this character. Done. Now, uh, what else can I do? Here, as you see how many devices can come for 10 power 5, there will be at max 10 square devices, right? So since only these devices can come, it will be 10 square into 10 power 5 operations. It will be like 10 power 7 or something, which is very much enough for uh, our working. Now, do I have to generate all the substrings? So if you say that it is HS, HA, 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 do I have to generate for all the different substrings? Should I generate for AH, SH, uh, HA? Not needed, right? We just have to see 
only the first two characters no let's understand let's take only the first two characters one can also come all hs can come all hs can uh, this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 for 8 it can be 1 2 and 4 right uh, three different uh, substring lengths are possible i can take h i can take hs i can take hs h so here if i take uh, let's say for example i am taking like hs only hs 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 this is okay right but here uh, what is the answer so as i told earlier here i took this ha he, or i can take this hs as well so if i take hs the answer will be 3 but uh, the length is 2 but the deviation are three deviations which are not allowed as per the question so instead of this hs i can take this ha right for the length as 2 i can do ha 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 so here only one deviation is there with the length of 2 now uh, so what is my suggestion is when should i take first one so if hs is here ha 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 is here i can take this first two characters right ha 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 and ha in this case if hs comes from first i can take the last character so in a logic i cannot know whether uh, some common pattern comes in the first part of the string or the last part of the string so i try for all the possibilities but you might have one more doubt why are we not taking from the middle that is a valid question why are we not taking from the middle is if you are taking ah let's say ah ah should definitely be part of this right this should exactly match here or this should exactly match at the end now suppose on the worst case let's assume that uh, on the best case like ah is not matching here and it is not matching here it is totally irrelevant right right at least prefix should be matched or at least the suffix should be matched that's why we are concerned only about the prefix or the suffix in this case what all things can come if i take hs ha ha i can take as per one length one i can take this character h h h h h h, h, h and compare i can take the last character a a a a a a and compare now for two it will be hs hs and hs for two it will be these two characters h a h a h a for four you take this first uh, four is it possible okay this is for uh, eight characters that's why so it will be h h and this will be a this will be a and this is hs hs h a h a similarly for four it will be hs h a hs h a or else it will be h a h a h a h a so that is the overall idea of it now how do we code it so now we understood right like we are able to get the time complexity also it is very much optimized now let's try to understand it how do we code it i will say that we'll start from length as one till the last number so here uh, in this case we are telling that the length is till eight i am keeping Uh, whether n is divisible by the length or not why did i tell that as i told earlier if i want to take a substring the substring should actually the concatenation of substring should actually fit with the length of this that's why we are concerned whether n mod length equal to equal to 0 or not now different count is 0 we can allow one deviation right if it's not same also it's okay but only one character can be changed now ll uh, prefix of index equal to 0 this character and for one i take the length as one only F for ll other index equal to prefix uh, index plus length other index less than n and other index plus equal length so i compare h with s h with this 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 and so on so whenever there is one deviation i'll just increment the count so let's make it a bit more complicated what if the length is 2 if the length is 2 i can tell that hs is the number hs is the character what do i do here other index is prefix of index plus length so the pointer is here what do i do at start it will be here h h this h compares with this h this h compares with this h and this h will compare with this h similarly uh, as you see prefix of index is less than length length is 2 now this s will compare with this a this s will compare with this a and this s will compare with this a and so on so let's uh, similarly we have to go for the backtracking also so back side means uh, not backtracking it is from the suffix side h a h a h a let's try for the length as four case here if the length is four what is this prefix uh, so suffix index will be eight minus length that is four right 
So suffix index will start from 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, this h and then it checks for this character that is h. Similarly, if something is there, it will compare to this and it goes for this, uh, this a and this s, this h will compare, this h will compare. If something like hs, he comes, this h will get compared with these three things. This a will compare with this one, this one. Then this h will compare with this and this, this, this and so on. So in any prefix or suffix, if it the uh, if the combination has been found, if the match has been found, we are just uh, outputting the length. Since we are starting from the smallest number and the difference count is less than or equal to one, we'll directly print the answer. Again, like uh, how did we uh, get the solution? Let's understand that. Uh, okay, for the first thing, I try. I thought of generating all the substrings and then trying to concatenate it. But I understood that if I keep on concatenating it, it might be the length will be greater or the length might be lesser. So I need to get only to a certain devices of that length. Then I try to generate all the numbers. So once I'm able to concatenate all the numbers, I understood that either it should be the prefix part or the suffix part. If I take something from the middle it does not make sense because it should anyway be matched with prefix as well as the suffix so i am taking only these two characters then as per the length from here i am checking for jumping the characters on the first if it is like uh, the number is two i take the one and compare with uh, like index um, uh, two index four index eight like that if it is uh, at the last means it would be eight four uh, 6 and 2. So I just gave you as an example. So you just jump it for each indexes for each length Whenever you are getting the first deviation or uh, no deviation for the minimum number you just print it So this is the code that is written here So if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments and that's all about the question. Thank you so much. Bye